Howdy folks, Kathy Williams de Vries here bringing to you uh, the scale requirements for clarinet grade 4 for Trinity College, uh, Trinity Guildhall um, clarinet exams. So we're up to grade 4. Um, I'm going to do the regular clarinet scales first. Leave the jazz clarinet scales to the end. Uh, the jazz clarinet scales are very interesting. Uh, it's all based on C, so you've got C major R scale, the major seventh arpeggio, Dorian, Mixolydian, uh, pentatonic, melodic minor, jazz melodic minor, all that sort of stuff. But uh, the, the requirements um, for the regular grade four, you have G, D and A major, two octaves, E, B, G minor, uh, two octaves, choice of either harmonic or melodic, I would recommend that you do both. A chromatic scale starting on F plus a pentatonic starting on G one octave and you get the choice of where you want to start that. Um, the following arpeggios, uh, G, D and A major, E, B and G minor, uh, dominant seventh in the key of C. Uh, it's a little bit faster now, it's 96, although I won't take it at 96. Da, 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 da. Okay, so uh, let's. I'm basically going through uh, as it's written in the book. So we'll skip the first two pages. And you've got the dominant seventh in the key of C, that's where we'll start. Now for this, you want to coordinate between the G and the B and the B and the D. Um, I find I have trouble uh, with these on occasion. So, because you're, you're actually lifting a very interesting combination. You're not lifting two of them together, you're having to lift the two um, apart. And then also between the B and the D. Because again, you're lifting a couple of um, interesting combinations of fingers. So the dominant seventh in the key of C. No real dramas there. We now come to the D major scale. Uh, we've got an F sharp and a C sharp. Um, practice going between the B and the C sharp. My clarinet's a little clunky. Uh, and also between the B and the C sharp in the upper octave. Not as easy as you might think. And you may want to practice that upper, up, upper note. a good sound in the altissimo, plenty of uh, support. So, now in the D major, um, Again, you will want to roll between the F sharp and the A. Uh, coordinate the D to the F sharp. Again, like the B to, like the G to the B in the lower, um, lower part of the clarinet, you're lifting an interesting uh, combination of fingerings. And also coordinate between the F sharp and the A. And most important, I recommend that you take this very slowly to get a good sound between the A and the D over that altissimo break. So that the D major arpeggio to E, uh, e minor. Um, we're dealing with uh, D sharp here. We're looking at the harmonic first. Um, you will want to coordinate between the, the C and the D sharp. And also 
show between the C and the D sharp in the upper part for which you will want to use the left hand C. Please note you can only use this D sharp because you are coming from C and the same goes for the melodic minor scale that's the only D sharp you can use. So, had to use the right hand B to get to the left hand C in order to get to the D sharp. Um, uh, e melodic minor scale again you can only use one, you want to coordinate between the C sharp and the D sharp in both octaves. <laughs> choice as to which E or B you want, I tend to keep it in the right hand. You may want to practice going from the B to the E a few times. Because um, that can get quite clunky. We now come to the chromatic scale starting on F. Two octaves are a brilliant way to learn your alternate fingerings. I start on a, uh, a right hand F to use the left hand F sharp. Um, when I go from A sharp to B, I use the banana key. Your choice of D sharps. Uh, F to F sharp, I use the two side keys. And that's about it. So. coordinate going from the G sharp to the A and again going from the D sharp to the E um, in the upper octave. G major scale uh, two octaves. There's no real dramas here, it's uh, you've only got the one sharp. to the G major arpeggio, you want to coordinate between the G and the B, and between the B to the D, and I suppose going from the D to the G is a little bit easier, and you also might want to concentrate also on the upper D to G, so that the G major arpeggio becomes. to G minor scale. G minor is the relative minor of B flat major so you've got two flats B flat and E flat. Um, may I suggest that you coordinate between the um, E flat and F sharp in both octaves either minor scale so that it becomes G 
melodic minor is uh, slightly easier. Um, the E flat changes to an E natural and you just rip up the scale. <laughs> Forward coordinate between the F and the E flat, that's about the most difficult part of the scale. G minor arpeggio, exactly the same as G major except for a B flat. Um, might I suggest uh, that you stick the right hand down to go between B flat and D, makes it easier. <laughs> the G pentatonic major scale one octave are uh, your choice whether you start on the shallow G or the throat tone G so <laughs> or uh, and this in this one you can keep the right hand down but that's uh, completely your choice. Um, now we have the A major scale two octaves. Uh, three sharps, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. Um, as I've said in a previous video you want to coordinate between the B and the C sharp in both octaves and also the F sharp to G in the upper octave. So and also and also in the throat tones so that the scale arpeggio you want to coordinate between the A and the G C sharp and also get a nice um, clean feel between the E and the A so that the A major arpeggio becomes now we now come to B minor um, harmonic, melodic and arpeggio. Um, again coordinate between the B and the C in both octaves. Uh, and also try and get a really clean G to A sharp in the top. So that it becomes in the harmonic minor. You sharpen the G this time. Again, you might want to coordinate. See how I keep my fingers very, very close to the keys. And also in the top octave. Going from the G sharp to the A sharp and then the A sharp to the B. Please note you can only use this A sharp um, because we're using this. G sharp. Also coordinate between the F sharp to the G sharp. So the scale. your choice as to which B you want to use. I tend to keep it in the right hand. And you want a really clean F to B. So. so that 
that's for regular clarinet. I'm now going to um, show you the scale. So jazz clarinet. So it's based on the tonal modal center of C. So you have C major scale, seventh arpeggio, Dorian, uh, minor seventh arpeggio, mixolydian, uh, major arpeggio with a lowered seventh, uh, which is just a dominant seventh. Um, C pentatonic minor, C melodic minor, C jazz melodic minor scale, C minor arpeggio with a major seventh and the chromatic scale starting on C. So C major scale is no real drama. No sharps, no flats. <laughs> C major 7th arpeggio again, no real dramas. Uh, just make sure you get your clean, um, clean uh, fingering between the thirds. And the Dorian scale, you've got a B flat only. Oh, sorry, B flat and an E flat. Um, your choice of E flat in the lower register as long as you coordinate it well with the F and uh, your choice of B flat as well as long as you coordinate it with the C. seventh arpeggio uh, you want to get a really clean um, C to E flat there is only one E flat you can use and that's in both octaves where you will need to use the left hand C uh, also a clean G to B flat in the upper octave and a clean B flat to C as well so <laughs> the mixolydian scale on C two octaves, just one B flat. You then have the C major arpeggio with the lowered seventh, which is just a C dominant seventh um, in in the key of F. B flat to C, you can leave fingers down and B flat to C. Uh, you can only use one B flat because you're coming from a G, just this one there. Uh, pentatonic minor scale, C minor is the uh, relative minor of E flat major, so you've got three flats. Um, again, really smooth C to E um, in the lower octave. Use the left hand C in the upper octave, really clean B flat to C, you can only use one B flat, one E flat. You can't use this one. So, uh, we then come to the C melodic minor scale two octaves. Um, I rather, I rather like uh, melodic minor scales because in flat keys because they um, they naturalize on the way up so apart from an E flat you're practically playing C major scale and on the way down uh, you're playing E flat major on the way down um, coordinate between the B flat and the A flat there's only one B flat you can use um, so but you do have a choice of E flats in the lower octave. You then have a C jazz melodic minor scale. Um, but in this case, the jazz melodic, it's the same up as it is the way down. So you're practically playing a C major scale apart from E flat, and the melodic minor is the same going up as it is down. And all my 
almost sounds like a mode, doesn't it? I almost think it's it can't be Dorian. No, it's not. It's not Dorian. Mm, and then the C minor arpeggio with a major seventh. If you want a really smooth C to E flat here, only one E flat you can use, you will need to use the right hand B to go to the left hand C in order to get to the right hand E flat. And then we come to the chromatic scale. Um, the same goes for the lower octave as the upper octave. Uh, going from an F to an F sharp, do use the banana key. As shown, and of course side F sharps, your choice of D flat, E flat and also B flat, A sharp. So. <laughs> That's your Trinity College Guildhall uh, Grade 4 clarinet scales, both regular clarinet and jazz clarinet. Um, even for regular clarinetists, I would uh, suggest that you do have a look at the jazz clarinet scales. Don't just learn what you have to. Uh, play both harmonic and melodic minors. Uh, they do come in handy and help you with your sight reading. So uh, thanks for sitting through that and please join me for Grade 5.